Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, people read the comments, and so whenever you leave a constructive comment, that can really help a lot of people. So I haven't read this email entirely, I just know the subject. The person's name is Adam, and the subject is choking on math tests. Hello, the math sorcerer, I hope all is well with you. I first wanted to let you know that your videos are extremely helpful for me as a senior in high school, not just on mathematics, but also on how to approach things in life. I'm currently taking AP Calculus AB in school. Initially, I had a really hard time understanding. Fortunately, that changed with time and I'm finding myself more comfortable in class and in homework. However, I'm still doing rather poorly on tests. I feel like I have a really good grasp of the material Yet I choke on the test and lose basic algebraic skills. I was wondering if you had experienced anything like this, and if so, how would you recommend tackling the issue? Sincerely, Adam. Wow, this is a really hard question. And so first let me say that yes, I have experienced stuff like this myself in the past. The worst case, I believe, was in a linear algebra class. I walked in and the teacher passed out the test, and I sat down to take the test and my arm was sticking to the page. I was sweating. It took me like 15 minutes. And I remember thinking, OMG, what is wrong with me? Like, why am I so nervous? Why am I sweating? I need to get a grip. The clock is ticking. It was only a 50 minute class. And I burned 50 minutes sweating and trying to like get it together. Needless to say, I did okay on the test. Ended up with an A minus in the class. But let's talk about your situation. So it says that you're really comfortable in class and in the homework, so that's really good. So it's all about the test. So one thing that I did for tests, and this is going to sound a little bit extreme, um, is first of all, I would study, right? You, you want to go over all of the homework. You want to go over all of the notes. And if there's any type of review, you want to make sure you master that, okay? Like 100%. So study as much as possible. And you want to start studying a few days before the test so that you're really, really comfortable with the material. In an ideal world, and I'm not saying you need to be here, but in an ideal world, you want to get to the point where you cannot study the day before the test. And I'll be honest, it's really hard to get there. And you'll know you're there because you're so ready that the day before the test, you're so confident that you don't even have to study. And that's only happened to me a few times in my life. But if you can get there, that's good. If you don't get there, study the day before the test. If you have any issues at all, any doubts, study the day before. On the day of the test, when you're in class and they're getting ready to pass out the test, typically how it works is there's a lot of commotion, people are talking, ignore all that. You need to be in the zone. Don't talk to your friends, don't talk to anyone. Have out your notes, your homework problems, and you want to be looking at them right before the test. Just look over all your solutions and say, okay, yeah, I know how to do that. Oh, okay, I know how to integrate that. Oh, that's that limit problem where you have to rationalize. Yeah, I can do that. Product rule, I got that. Chain rule, I got that. Quotient rule, I got that. You want to just basically do like a glance of all of your work. So you look it over right until the moment that you have to take the test. You know, if the teacher says, hey, you know, clear your desk, you clear your desk. But you want to have all your stuff out there studying right before. And it's going to feel a little weird because most people don't do that. Most people engage in fun conversation with their friends. They talk about how they're nervous and they talk about how they're ready. And they talk about that hard homework problem. You know, just regular classroom conversations between students. Don't be a part of that, okay? Just look at your work and focus. And it's okay if people judge. Let them judge you. This is your strategy, right? And then when you get the test, just do your best. And I think that looking at the material, even just right before the test, even just like having an idea of what the problems are like is going to help you do better. When you take the test, if you feel nervous, just relax and tell yourself, it's just a test. It's not the end of the world. There's more important things in life than grades. And then when you walk out of the test, kind of reiterate that thinking so that you're not stressed and waiting for your grade. I had this really good strategy built up where I would do this, I would prepare like crazy, and then I would look at my notes and my homework right until I got the test. And as soon as I got the test, I would tell myself to relax. It's fine. Just do my best. And as soon as I would walk out of the test, I would tell myself it doesn't matter. That way I wouldn't have to like worry about getting my grade. 
So try that, especially the part about studying right up until the test. And I don't mean like solve problems right before the test. So on the day of the test, you kind of want to limit how much actual math you do, like how much writing you do. Um, if you're if you find yourself that you're still solving problems on test day, I think in my opinion, it means that you're really you're underprepared, right? If you're still having to like physically write down problems on the day of the test before the test, I don't think you're ready enough. You need to get ready before that. So on the day of the test, you're kind of just looking over your solutions and saying, yeah, I got this. Yeah, I got this. And that does two things. One, it keeps the problems fresh in your mind. And two, it gives you confidence. You know, if you're looking at a homework problem and you're saying, hey, I know how to do this. I got this. That's going to make you feel confident. It's going to give you the confidence you need in order to succeed on your test. I really want to emphasize that I think it's great, really, really great that you're comfortable with the material and that you've come this far. So I think there's a lot of hope and I think you can do really well on the test. Most people who do poorly on tests are not comfortable with the material and they don't feel prepared. So the fact that you're feeling like you're ready, you're feeling like you can do well, says a lot and I think you're going to be able to do it. So again, try to finish studying a few days before the test. On the day before the test, study, but ideally at that point, you want to just be really reviewing and not learning any new concepts. On the day of the test, you want to do minimal studying in terms of writing and mostly just you want to be looking over your solutions. And again, looking over your solutions and telling yourself that you know how to do them is a really good feeling. It keeps all of those solutions fresh in your mind and it also builds confidence because you know that you can do it. So when you get that test, it's almost like an enjoyable experience. You know, you're you're looking at the question. You can say, hey, I know exactly how to do that. I was just looking at that problem 20 minutes ago. Oh, they put that problem on the test. <laughs> I know how to do that, too. So it gives you that feeling and it feels really good. And the more tests you take, OK, the more tests you take, the better you're going to get. You said in your email that you are currently taking AP Calculus AB in school. So that means you're in high school. I mean, you're already taking calculus and you're in high school. That is awesome. I mean, I didn't learn calculus until I was like 25 years old. <laughs> so, I mean, that's pretty amazing, you know? So I think you're on the right track. I think you're going to do awesome. And yeah, I mean, you're already way ahead of the game. If there is such a thing as being ahead of the game, you're ahead of it and you're going to do really well. If anyone has any advice for Adam on, you know, choking on math tests, please leave a comment in the comment section below. This is a really tough topic because I think that different people get nervous for different reasons. And I can tell countless stories on people who have choked and I do my best to help them, but it doesn't always work. So your comments can really help Adam or anyone else who is having a hard time with test taking. So please share your test taking strategies. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.